Hello, it is Johnny Jones and I'm at home again. Today I want to talk about something that maybe would interest my subscribers. I notice my subscribers uh, are more or less interested in more survival aspects of CB radio um, and communication. And so I thought, you know, I'd make a couple videos just to keep those people prepared. I do that a lot, don't I? Like in, in videos, I'm like, I like to smack things a lot. Anyways, so today I'd like to talk to you about... Um, Converting power supplies for, you know, if you ever ever need to uh, move your CB in the house. Let's say you're at a yard sale and you see this mobile rig, like a mobile CB, and you think, I want that, but you don't want to put it in your car. You want to have it in your house for emergency. I mean, weather, you have CBs with weather um, options to listen to, um, you know, national weather emergency, stuff like that. I have one of those here. I'm going to do a review on once I'm done fixing it, but... Uh, so you want to put it in the house, and, and so you had to get a power supply to do that. So you could go on Amazon and get one for 35 or $45. I think that's what it costs, honestly. Or you could just make your own. And uh, as long as the amperage and the voltage is right, you should be totally fine. So today I'm going to go over a few options that you may have uh, to... Um, to get that mobile CB set up in your home. So let me get rid of the uh, this right quick, and let's just start with the most um, basic option. This is just a power brick from a Wii, Nintendo Wii. Uh, it's a power supply from a Nintendo Wii, and it's got the... It's almost perfect what the rating is on it. I'm pretty sure it's 3.3 amps. Anyways... Let me read it off because you probably can't see it because my camera is pretty terrible. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a better camera. God, this is dirty. I'm a dirty man. Um. <laughs> anyways, so this is 12 uh, volts DC and 3.7 amps. So uh, you're good. That is really good for a barefoot radio. Don't try running an amp through this or anything. But uh, if you're just hooking up a radio, totally totally fine. Three uh, three amps is perfectly fine to run a radio. You definitely want 12 volts at least. Um, you can get 13.8 volt power supplies, but what it is is... I've looked this up myself. Radios don't need exactly 3.8 volts. They're actually pulling around like, like 10 or 11. There's a voltage regulator in the radio itself that will allow it to regulate the voltage. So as long as it's 12... As long as it's, you know, above 12, so it can be like 13.8, around there is fine. I mean, you wouldn't want to put like a bunch in there, but, you know, like I said, the, the, the radio's got a voltage regulator, so you should be fine on that. 12 volts, as long as the current's, I think, above 2 amps on the current rating, but I would, I would definitely want to go 3. Um, basically, what happens is if your current, your radio pulls more current than your adapter is rated for. It can get hot, and you don't want that. You don't want to overheat. So I've talked enough about this. So how do you do it? You got a you got a Wii power. You probably have one of these laying around. So how do you do it? Well, first you got to make sure that it's intact and working, um, and of course has a plug in it on it. Let me get the end here. And you take this plug. I am so great at making videos. I'm like the best video maker, editor, everything. I'm just perfect. So you take that end, and you notice what I do. I've done this my whole life. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Basically what I do, and I've never actually used it, but if I, if I use a power supply, if I strip a power supply down to two leads, two wires, I always tie the cord onto the existing cord, like the end of it, just in the case that, let's say I really want to play, I want to get a Wii again, and I really want to use this, then I can come in here and just strip that and attach it, and then boom, I got a working, you know, Wii power supply again. That was eBay. But, so what I've done is I've clipped that off, easy peasy, right? Um, I came in here, I've soldered this together. This is just, um, some, uh shrink wrap or heat shrink um, that uh, I've put on there just to keep it watertight keep it from touching and I've soldered these little these little uh, clamps these nipple clamps this is from my personal S&M collection but um, I've moved on to stranger things so just figured I'd put my nipple clamps to good use and I've put um, 
some colored heat shrink on here, you know, red and black, just because, you know, I think it, red and black's pretty. No, obviously, because this is, this is black, this is, this is ground, this is a reference ground, and this is, um, positive. Um, and that's it. Oh, God, wait, what? Yeah, that's it. That's all you gotta do. As long as you don't hook it up backwards, don't hook your radio up backwards, it'll, it'll mess it up. So as long as you don't hook it up backwards, you're good. That's it. That's it. That's all you need. You can sit there and talk on that radio for hours and hours and hours. This is going to be fine. Works perfectly. If you want to run an amplifier, then you need a little more juice. Boom. Computer power supply. Computer power supplies usually have a higher amperage uh, rating. This one is 10 amps. I think this is a weak this is a weak power supply because it's out of a proprietary system. It's like an HP system. It's smaller than usual, you notice. But you can get um, power supplies with really high uh, ratings on a 12 volt. Like I think I have one here that's with 30 amps. I'm about to fix just to run a power supply because of the current. But let's not go into amps right now, and 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 let's just talk strictly about uh, running a radio, running a small rig. So, chances are, you've probably seen these before. These are computer power supplies. You've probably thrown computers out, or if you're like me and you hoard, then you have tons of computers and cases and holes. And There you go. You got one right there. That's a power supply. People don't think of it like that, but that that's, can run many, many a thing. And all you have to do is um, make sure that, for one, you want to be safe. I might, I'm going to make a more detailed video, I think, of this if people really want to know how to do it. But there's plenty of videos online about how to do this. Just look up on YouTube. So, you have multiple different um, voltages here. I think this is 3 volts. I might be wrong. Uh, this is either 3 volts and the red's 5 volts or vice versa. So, you got 3, 5, ground. See that? That's black. It's ground. The green is basically you have to attach this green wire to a ground to keep it going. So you would take one of these black wires, strip it, uh, either put a button on this or just twist them together. That would keep the power supply in on mode. And the yellow right here is 12 volt, which is what you'd be using for your uh, radio. Uh, let's see here. There's some... There's a few wires over here, like the blue and stuff. I think those are like negative 12, so you could have 24 volts uh, or 15 or whatever. Don't worry about that right now. If you know what you're doing and you want to, if you want want to get into into doing that, then definitely do more research on it. I'm not even gonna mention it today because this is just for beginners. I myself am pretty much a beginner. I mean. I know more than what I'm telling you here, but it's not like I'm a freaking genius. Uh, I just learned how to do this not long ago. Um, but, so, you want the black and the yellow. That's your 12 and ground. And that right there being um, 10 amps, that could run a, uh, a larger, uh, uh, a, a modified CB. So, if you wanted to run, like, a CB that had two... Uh, like a, a dual finals in or something in it, then you could run it off of this. And all you have to do is take these wires, like do like I did here, either solder them or twist them together, and just use a 12 volt. Just use the yellow and black. What I'm going to do with this one uh, is I'm just going to take the yellow and black. Where's the CPU voltage right here? This is for the CPU. Could be used for GPUs, but that's primarily CPU. It's an old system. So the only one of the only one of these connectors. So what I'm I thought about doing is just taking this connector and not stripping the wires at all, just making a um, an adapter where I can just click this in, not necessarily to the back of my radio, but a small board or something that's hooked to the radio or is an adapter, and just click it in and out of the radio. I wouldn't have to worry about clipping wires and twisting anything together. I could just it would it would be a plug and and play type deal. Uh, I've already taken that off. Now that I think about it, I really probably could have kept that on there and been fine. And just uh, used uh, an old ATX motherboard and, uh, and desoldered the uh, 
soldering is a bad subject for me to get on. I'm pretty bad at it. My hands are terrible. But I could have used that and powered it. I think this is getting a little long now, so I don't want to bore you too much more. But um, basically, it's super easy to experiment. Get yourself some power supplies. Be safe. Um, you know, don't go sticking forks in the walls or anything. But as if you want to do this, this is easy to do. I would recommend looking at a few videos first. They'll uh, explain it a lot better than I do. I'm not exactly a teacher. Um, maybe I'll get better with time. Usually that's what happens with me. But definitely try this. This is like the easiest method in the world to do. Just make sure the amperage is 3 or above. I've used two, but like I said, they do get warm. You don't want to, I wouldn't, you know, necessarily recommend that, especially with cheap power supplies. But uh, get yourself three amps, 12 volts or above, and you'll be, you'll be fine with that. Just, you know, be safe, you know, research. Don't just randomly pull something and start it, you know, don't just randomly do stuff. You know, have a little bit of sermon. And you should be good. You'll, you'll hook yourself up a nice little uh, mobile CB uh, in, in your bedroom, like I did. Um, I have a base station, but I, I have a place for a... a obviously, I have a place for a, a CB, a mobile CB hookup. And to get yourself, like, a, a tape measure um, dipole. Gotta make a parent's tape measure dipole. Or you can use some uh, thin wire, make yourself... Uh, um, a vertical, put it on a door frame. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna make a few videos on that. I think as I as I continue on. But that's enough for today. This video's already gone too long anyway. Rambled on too much. This is Johnny Jones. I'm still at home. Bye bye.